Okay, good morning. This is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such. Um, thanks for tuning in. Please watch the ads. It helps me out. Gives me, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'm enjoying the comments. Uh, today I'm going to be rebatching some pine tar soap. And um, I don't normally have to rebatch soap. These I cut too thin. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. Um, I think I was just in a hurry and really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. But all of it, I cut too thin. There, were, there was not one bar that really was the, the size that I want uh, for my customers. And it was just way too much soap for me to keep for us. So, um, and usually if I miscut one or two bars, I'll just package two bars together and sell them as like a special. And people get two bars which is more than they would pay for one bar. I mean, it's the same price, but they get more soap for their money. Uh, and it's two smaller bars rather than one big bar. But, like I said, um, this was just way too much. I, I want to say it was around 50 bars. I, I really don't know. I counted um, after we had one crock pot full. I counted and there were 22 bars. So it might be like 45 bars. I'm not sure. So... Um, I went ahead and last night the children um, helped me slice it up. And I did notice, I've, I've never had this really happen before, but the edges were nice and, well, I don't want to say it's nice and hard because it wasn't, but the, the middle had this look about it and it was softer than the outside. Not all of them that were that way, but there were some. So anyway, went ahead and cut them up. Got two crock pots full. Um... I've already got the crock pots on warm just to heat the pot up some and it really hasn't started heating up yet so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them to low just to get them going and I'm going to take some water I'm gonna put a half a cup of water I'm really not sure because like I said it's been so long since I've rebatched soap till I really only remember, I know you cut it up and you melt it and you let it uh, melt all back down before you put it back in the mold. But, I'm going to try a half a cup, I'm thinking, maybe not, maybe a fourth of a cup. Fourth of a cup. Go ahead with a half a cup because that wasn't a lot. Half a cup. And I'm going to put them on. I'm going to turn them on low until they heat up some. Now these crocs get really, really hot. So I don't know that I want to keep them on, on low. I'm thinking that I want to go from low to warm, low to warm, low to warm, back and forth. Um, I, I may leave them on low. I don't know. I, I just have to, have to kind of play it by ear. But um, one's not really going to be warm enough. And hot, I mean, low's going to probably be too warm. So I'm probably going to go back and forth. I may set my timer. I think that's what I'll do. Set my timer for 30 minutes. And I'm going to do 30 minutes of low, 30 minutes of warm, 30 minutes of low. Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna play the spot here. Um, I'm gonna get my great little spoons out that I love that came from Agri Supply. I think they were three dollars, two ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. Really, really sturdy. These are some great, great spoons for um, for your soaps. I'm also gonna get out my cake spatula, which I rake the sides with to keep it from sticking and burning to the sides. Um. Drying out more so, and that's all I should need today. Um, other than having my molds ready, which I'll go ahead and and get that ready. But um, that's it, and I will bring you back um, probably in 30 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes, and I'll bring you back and let's take a look at how it looks. See you then. Okay, I'm back. It's been it's been 30 minutes. I set the timer for 30 minutes. Um, I can tell already that it is, it is heating up, um, because you can see it's, well, that might just be the water on top, where I poured it in. 
Nah, it's not heating up really. It's still on low. Um, the bottom is starting to melt a little. But that's it. So I'm going to give it a stir. I'm not going to stir it too much because I really want to keep the hot one on the bottom until it heats up more. This is probably, this is going to take longer than it would for me to make soap. Um, because you're just going to have to melt everything down. And you can't do it too fast because you don't want it to stick. But it's, it's melting some. Not a whole lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it on on low. I'm not going to change that. And I'm going to let it cook for 30, 30 more minutes. And I will bring you back. Okay, um, I did turn the crock pots on high. After I turned the recorder off, I decided I wanted to do it, turn it on high, get it going, and then um, I'm going to turn it back. I've already turned them back on low. I haven't started them or anything. It's been about 30 minutes. I'll be honest, I forgot to set the uh, timer. But I think it's been about 30 minutes. So I'm going to give it a stir. And you can see that it's still not doing a lot. Now it is starting to soften. I'm not sure if you can see it, but see how it's sticking to the spoon? Um, I just want to make sure that I see the bottom. So I might should leave it on high just for until we really get the heat going. But you, you can uh, you can tell from the bottom right there that it, it is starting to melt. You just don't want to leave the part against the pot because you don't want it to start sticking until you kind of got um well you don't want it to stick anyway but you want to move it around get everything going okay same thing with this one and if you notice i'm letting the water drain back in and that's because um you know i don't want anything any water that's evaporating i don't want it to it's collecting back on the lid some of it not all of it but I don't want to pour it in the sink or anything because I want to kind of try to keep some of that moisture in there. And this one ooh, is really, really, you can see that it's really melting on the bottom. So I'm going to give it a nice stir. And I'm going to leave it on high. I've changed my mind. And, and you something like this you just kind of have to play with it and see how your pots are doing i'm going to leave it on high for 30 more minutes um and i'm going to bring you back but first i wanted to um show you the my bud cutter that i got for christmas my husband bought this for me um this will allow me to cut my um i'm gonna slide you that way you can see Ooh, and i have my camcorder plugged in I mean yeah plugged in so it's charging but um you can put the lights under there and cut 11 bars at one time <clears throat> plus uh, my bars are extra long if you do the small loaves then that's that's great but um my loaves are extra long so this part here being cut out allows my loaf to stick out past because my, my loaves are almost two feet long so um i'm gonna need it to stick out uh, i'm thinking that i'll, I'll need to, to cut twice um because it's 11 bars 22 bars is probably what i'm gonna get i'm not really sure with this size bar uh i got the one and quarter one and one quarter inch because i i, I kind of wasn't sure but i kind of measured my bars but because i do crinkle cut I, it was kind of i tried guessing <clears throat> excuse me tried guessing the size um, I'm thinking of one and a quarter inch is what I'm needing, but we'll see. Um, so, I'm excited to use this to try, and I will use it and show you me cutting these two loaves whenever they're ready. But uh, the reason I did order this is so that I can get my bars nice and even and get them exactly the length, the width that I want or the thickness so that I'm not having to do something like this um, and rebatch again. So, um this came from Bud's Wood Shop, uh, Bud Hafner. It's H A F F N E R, and he's on Etsy. Um, if you're interested, um, 
he does a does a great job like i said i haven't used it yet but um it's really really nice and other people that have bought his love them so all right i'll bring you back in 30 minutes to check on the soap okay it's been 30 minutes again i did set the timer this time i'm gonna let the water drain down in it stir it up some melting nicely it's not really sticking a whole lot I mean around the edges a little as like normal but just give it a quick stir bump it down go on to this one let the water drain in seems like this one's getting hotter This is probably going to end up being one crock pot, like a normal crock pot that I would make of soap. But being that the cubes, you know, were cut and they were make, taking up space in between them, it filled two crock pots. Um, and I could have probably tried putting them all in one, or um, but I just kind of felt like it was going to be easier just to go ahead and try to do two. I am going to scrape it around a little, get a little bit of stuff on the edges, not much. Okay. Push it down, back down against the pot. Scrape it off. Do this one the same way. We'll put the lid down because I I'm liking it. it's looking fine it's not sticking or anything so I'm gonna leave it on high and I'll bring you back in 30 minutes and I hope you can see um how it's looking let me just zoom in real quick and give you a shot of what it looks like in the pot so you can see that the little squares are starting to blend together they're almost gone not quite but they're getting there I'll bring you back in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's been 30 minutes. So, I um, think I'm going to need to... Yeah, it's really, really getting nice and melted around the edges. Still got a ways to go, but it's getting there. It's almost there. Probably, well, it's probably going to be maybe, maybe an hour. Do 30 more and 30 more. Just gonna give it a nice stir. Kind of bump that down. Oops. I want to go around the edges. I think I'm gonna turn it down on low now. It's not really sticking a whole lot, but. Well, it's not really sticking any. I mean, it's getting the normal around the edges. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on low. A little bit right there. And this one seemed, appears to be... Um, hotter for some reason but it's still doing nicely um gonna I'm gonna turn it down it's burning off <coughs> burning off some of the essential oils that were in it I'm definitely going to turn it down low. I don't want that to happen. I don't want to have to add any more if I can help it. But I am going to 
check that when it's time just to kind of see how it smells and this is my first smell of the essential oils kind of burning off is in this one this one really oh yeah i smell it too mm, they smell nice too all right so um got them on low they're getting there they're not quite ready but i'm going to bring you back in another 30 minutes Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I'm back again. Train the water down in there. I wish I had one of those things that would just sit the the lid on it, but I don't. Yes, this is I would say it's ready. So I'm probably going to go ahead and um And I don't think I'm going to have to add any more essential oil because it's strong. It's kind of got me with a little bit of a headache from being in here the last time. So, I'm going to put that down in there. Stir around the edges really well. Feels like it's still got some chunks, but I think it'll work for what I'm doing. Because, I mean, all I'm going to do is let it cool back down and just so that I can recut it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Because all I want to be able to do is flatten it down in the mold real good. Like that. And see I can flatten it down. And then let it cool enough that I can cut it uh, this afternoon. Put that there. Same thing with this one. That spray on her holding. No, no, tell her. Where does it go on her? Just lay on the table right there. Okay. It goes up here behind the camera. Okay, yeah, y'all go play. All right, got that um, done. So this pot here is just getting a little hotter than the other pot. I bought a new pot and I'm wondering if this is the new one. I don't really have a way of telling. I should mark them or write on the bottom of them. I think I'll start doing that um, right on the bottom when I purchased it and that way I will know if it's like an old pot and that might be why it's heating up or if it's a new pot because I just um, open a new one right sometime right before Christmas all right so I'm gonna go ahead and turn both of those off I'm going to bring you around real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how quickly I'm going to set up and please ignore the table it's got my stuff and stuff I mean my um, embroidery stuff on it I'm supposed to pick up my embroidery table Friday so I can get all this stuff out of here on. Oh, I'm going to put the embroidery machine in my bedroom. I just don't have room in here for it. All right, so what I do is I have been using two types of uh, different liners. This one, these are shelf liners from Walmart, but this one, and then I had, I have, I have this one. And I'm going to be honest, so far I'm liking this one better. This one is thinner and it tends to um, fold. Fold up, let me show you. And it like, see here? It does this. And it's hard to get it to stand up straight. Even though you have it in the mold, it still wants to curve down like this. So, and it's, um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So I, I'm really not not satisfied with those, um, but I am more satisfied with this one so far. So I'm going to use this one. I already have it cut. I just stick it down in here like this. Um, I just kind of take my fingernail and push it down, and, and this one will go back nicely whenever I um, do it. 
Now I have I, do, I have been using the same one in the ends because those really don't bend up as much or they don't bend up. Um, and I usually put these in first. And I usually just stick it in there and trying to find the um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do um, some of the thinner ones I'm not sure why I have these cut this length I'm really not sure because they don't fit in the mold um, when you fold them so I'm not sure why those are cut that on um, that length but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to cut a little bit bigger than what I had because they weren't quite big enough. Alright. I think I'm going to try folding this in half and just cut it. Okay. Let's see if that works. Take those out. And it needs to cut a little bit off. So once I get a pattern, I'll go ahead and finish um, cutting these. If you fit that down in there, that fits perfect. And then that goes right down there on top of it. So this one's perfect. That one really looks the same size too. So let's try it on the end. And it does work better if you pull those out first. Let me just do this the way I normally do it. I normally do this. Now it's still a little. And if they're a little too not as narrow as they need to be, it's okay because this mold's going to make up for the difference. Okay? And push it down. That. And then this is what I will use for, for the mold. I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and pour one up and then that way I'll be through with the video. You won't have to watch me do two of them. Do this one. Let me get it out. I'll bring it over there. Hot, hot, hot. I'm trying to get around this tripod. Alright, so what I do is um, I put a towel, and I'm not sure what you can see. Okay, well, let's put you on. I put a towel on the end there for me to hold because the pot, this pot's really hot because I'm not letting these cool down because I already have the essential oils in them. And I put a pot on my hip. I'm gonna try to do this quickly because I'm gonna be honest, these the um The essential oils are really, really bothering me. Normally, they don't bother me, but I guess because of the heat in this one, and then the pine tar, I guess, maybe doesn't help either, because this is a pine tar with tea tree, lemongrass, lavender, and peppermint. Woo, it's strong. Mm. What I do is go ahead and just get out what I can. And even if it's dried parts on the edge, it will fold right under. And it will heat back up because these are going to continue to stay hot in the mold for a while. Okay, I think that's enough. Kind of do that. I'm gonna put this hot, hot pot back over here. Woo! So 
so put it back, back in the crock pot because it's hot. Alright. Now I'm going to grab the other one out. Put it on my hip. I'm always worried that I'm going to drop one of these. I haven't so far, but I know there's going to be... There's a first time for everything. So, this is not on... Um, all the way filled up. So what I'm going to do is finish it. I probably should have put this one on the bottom because this one didn't appear to be quite as hot. Okay. Okay, I ran out of memory on my camcorder, so I had to go ahead and mold them without the videotape running. But um, what I did is I ended up with a whole mold over here and I ended up with only a piece of a mold. This part here I just put to hold this straight and um, so I ended up with just just parts of it. But anyway, I put those in there. It's still warm and um, but I am planning on unmolding it in just a few minutes and I'm going to post a video of that. Um, of me unmolding it. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the soap rebatching. See you next time. This is Sean Woodell at Heavenly Soaps and Such.